Hello to everybody watching and welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry and in this video I'm continuing my look at Eurovision 2022 and I'm going to be taking a look at the host entry Italy and they have chosen their entrant and it's a return for Mahmoud who took part in 2019 of course finishing second and this time he is partnered with Blanco and they are singing the song Brufidi. So I'm going to let you know what I thought about the national final performance and the song and how I think it could do at Eurovision. So please stay tuned to hear all of that. And without further ado, let's begin the reaction. Okay, so I've not actually yet heard this song. Um, I was planning to watch San Remo at some point during the week, but just you know just general life stuff just got in the way and then there was so much going on on Saturday I just couldn't really dedicate the time to it so this will actually be a very initial first impression of the song I have of course heard a lot of people talking about it and a lot of people speaking very highly of it so I'm interested to see what I think of it and I do have to say that in 2019 I wasn't originally uh, a big fan of Soldi from the very start. It didn't connect with me straight away, but by the time it got to Eurovision and definitely after after Eurovision and the live performance and since then, it has grown on me a lot. So, hoping that this can be up there with that level. So, interesting to take a listen finally. So, going to press play now. So, getting a Bella this time. Mamu's vocals here sounding quite nice here in the the Bella dear. So interesting to see where it kind of continues. The vocals go very well together, I'm finding. So it's uh, a very sort of soft, mellow, emotional song. A vibe song, so I think you're, if you're in that sort of mellow feeling vibe, a bit of reminiscent, reminiscent vibe, I think it would definitely work. I think I actually prefer Blanco's vocals here over Mamu's, but they do complement each other well. I think the chorus here, it, it definitely has a very nice vibe, very easy to listen to. I am really enjoying this, which I am quite happy about um, because when I was seeing a lot of people saying how much, how great it was, I was worried that it perhaps wasn't going to live up to my expectations, but I am really enjoying the song. And I'm hoping that Eurovision they sort of keep the very intimate vibe of the song to make it work. And I'm thinking that this should definitely break the streak of poor results for host entry songs. Um, I think there's no chance this is going to be coming low down in the table. <laughs> Okay, so that was my reaction to the Italian entry Brividi by Mahmoud and Blanco. So a very enjoyable song very emotional, I really like the intimate intimate staging of it and I like both of their vocals, they complemented each other well um, and I particularly liked Blanco's vocals at, uh, in the song there. So overall very very happily positive about the song. 
Um, in terms of your vision, I think this will definitely break the poor one of results for host entries going back. I think the last time a host entry did well was in 2016 with Sweden when they came sixth, I think it was. So I think this should definitely be going top 10, could even possibly go top five. I think this is definitely going to get, should get jury support. Um, the public vote might be a little bit less maybe, but if they can get the staging and the intimacy right and can strike the correct chord with the voting public, I think you could also get a very good public vote as well. Um, it is very much a bit of a vibe song, so if you're in that very reminiscing, mellow kind of vibe, I think this will speak to you. Um, so yeah, really thinking very positively for Italy this year, which I'm not surprised about. I knew they were going to be able to I knew if any country was going to be able to break the streak of host countries doing poorly. I thought Italy had a very strong choice because I mean San Remo as the selection show means that you're guaranteed to get a lot of high quality songs. Um, people are not get picking songs in that to go to Eurovision. They're trying to just get great songs. So I knew that this was going to be a top quality entry, whether I liked it or not. And the good news is I really did enjoy that song. But that is just my opinion of Italy in 2022. So please let me know down below what you think of this entry. Was it your favourite or did you prefer anyone else? And how well do you think this will do at Eurovision? Please let me know all this down below. Please also like, please remember to click the like button if you liked and enjoyed this video. And please hit the notification bell and the subscription button to not miss out any more of my videos coming in the next days, weeks and months. There's plenty more to come in the future. And thank you to everyone that has done that already and all the other comments and likes and views and everything. It means a lot to me. And until the next video, please take care and goodbye.